Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Um, wonder what we're gonna cook today. Today's choice of meat is I don't even have a name for it, right? So I had a subscriber come to me and say, Hey, won't you try? Have you ever tried a, a beer can a burger? I said, No. I've seen our uh, barbecue pit boys and a couple other people try to emulate it, and whatnot. Don't know who created it, but shout outs to them because I'm finna try it today. Um, but I'm not gonna call it that. One, I don't have no beer cans. I got a soda can, but uh, I'm gonna try that. So I think I'm gonna, I'll come up with a name for it. So just follow me with this, right? The name will be at the top, the title, obviously, because I'll name it later once I upload it. But I'm gonna come up with a name for it. But it's the same idea, right? Taking a can, putting it in the middle of a patty, shaping the, uh, the, the burger up around the can, taking the can out and stuffing it with something. Right, um, and we're gonna go that method and see what it just see what it turns out to be. You never know; it might be one of those uh, I don't know, taste good, smell good, look good meal. We'll see though. So just stick with me. We're gonna go in the kitchen, come up with some uh, products I got in the kitchen. Maybe need to run to the store real quick. Don't think I have no cheese because that's, that's another item we put in there: cheese and rice. Eat that much right now, and then we'll go from there. So follow your boy, this Mr. B, back your barbecue. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, YouTube, we back in the kitchen. And as you can see, I got a couple items here. Traditional. Decided I went to the store and decided I'm going to try to do something different. Try this. Uh, I usually kind of make my own seasoning or just mix and match. And then come up with a taste. But feeling lazy, right? Hey, don't judge. It's a dog on Wednesday. I'm off work. I don't feel like going through all that. So I figured it might just throw my little get something already. So try this dog. I'm gonna try this grill mate uh, McCormick hamburger seasoning. Um obviously I got my onion and my uh, bell pepper. Trying remember now, I'm trying something different. Turkey bacon, um for all y'all health nuts out there or whatever. Got some ground beef, three pounds of that, and I got some ground turkey. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up. That's gonna be about six pounds. Actually, I might just do half and half, uh, make it just three pounds mixed up, and just see what the taste is like, man. I never had it. You know, my brother called me on the phone and he was like, "Man, try it mixed up together. It's awesome." So that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna mix this up, um, and then go from there. Uh, hmm. Look like I should put something else in this, but I don't know. I don't know about this turkey bacon. We're gonna try it out and see. We're gonna just try it and see. Uh, so stick with me. Let me go and chop up the onion and stuff, mix all this stuff up, and I'll be right back. Yes, sir, YouTube. And we're back. And I don't know if you can see the di little discoloration. My little light is bad. See the dark meat? That's the ground beef. The light meat is the turkey. I'm going to mix it up a little bit better here in a minute. Got my, my onions, bell peppers. And I never really talked about this, right? My scale. Awesome. Actually, let me turn it on and show you how this thing works. I mean, it's a scale here. You can figure it out. This is digital. Use like a watch battery or whatnot. See, I got pounds, ounces. And that was, I just used that to measure the turkey and the ground beef because each one was three, I think three pounds. So obviously I'm doing half and half. So that's a pound and a half of ground beef, pound and a half of uh, turkey. Let me turn that off. You can switch to grams too if you wanted to, but whatever. Um. So yeah. I had to put this uh, stuff in here. I don't really like the smell of it. Let me smell it again while y'all here live with me. Mm, I don't know about that one. Anyway, we're going to try it anyway. Hell, I bought it for this reason. We're going to ride with it, right? That's what we do. Um, if I like it, keep rocking with it. If I hate it, probably be pissed off that I spent my money on this and use something nasty. But whatever. You know, we do that sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Um, make some burgers out of it. But actually, what I'm going to do is, I, I, I remember I was talking about the, the beer can burger. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try that and just see how it uh, pans out. I'm going to uh, put some cheese in the middle. And then, uh, let's see what happens, man. We'll put it on the grill. Let's see what happens, man. You know, I try to emulate other people's ideas and, and and nobody knows at all. So, you know, somebody came out with an idea of taking a beer can, sticking it in the middle of a, uh, some doggone ground beef and then filling it up with something. Hey, I'm going to try it too, see if it turn out right. So stick with me. I'm going to go and mix this up, get me a can, and then we're going to do what it do. I'll be back in a minute. 
What's up, YouTube? We back. And as you can see, I got my four burgers made up. Uh, about three pounds of ground beef or whatnot. Had a little bit left. Oh, let me show you that real quick. Mixed up. A little bitty patty. I put it on the grill. A snack on that one. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to form this up. Like I said, I just started pushing this can down. It's not a big can, but the size of the can is real similar. Uh, just really making a uh, uh, hollow inside. Let me take the can off real quick just so you can see as it's going. So I'm gonna push this down in and form it up on the sides. Y'all bear with me. I'm recording this video by myself. Uh, son at work. Uh, wife gone. She at work, whatnot. And then uh, my daughter just being lazy. So I'm gonna do this for myself. So bear with me. Give me a second. I'm gonna form one of these up so you can see it. Then I'll go ahead and do the rest of them and then I'll meet y'all out at the grill. So give me a second. Let me show you what one looks like after I form it up. And then we're going to go and put these things on the grill. All right, so we're back in the house. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, yeah, best I can do. Yeah, I ain't trying to be perfect with it. But uh, at the end of the day, I bet you're wondering what I'm going to put inside there. So I'm getting a little creative today. Uh, and I'm going to actually cook some rice. And uh, mix it with cheese once the rice is done. Um, and mix it up in there. So I'm going to put these on. Just like this. Let them form up while my rice is cooking. Then I'm going to come back. And mix the rice with the uh, the cheese. And then stuff the cheese in there, cheese and rice inside the middle. And I don't, I don't know. Y'all can give me a name for it. I'm just going to call it the. Uh, hmm. Rice burger. Rice cheeseburger. How does that sound? Mm, I don't know. We're gonna call it the the rice cheeseburger, the rice can cheeseburger, the rice can rice can cheeseburger. That kind of got a quick catch to it. Rice can cheeseburger. There we have it. Right? You got a better name? Comment below. I might even change it up. But for now, here it is: the rice can cheeseburger. There we go. So bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and form up these other three. Uh, I got the grill going. Uh, using my Weber kettle for those who happen to give a damn using the rice uh, the kettle My Weber kettle and then we're gonna throw them on there and make this a smooth transition Like I said, they shouldn't take long to get done because they're gonna be hollow And then we're gonna come pile the uh, the rice and cheese in there and let it sit for a little bit because the rice is gonna be done So all I need is cheese to melt maybe 15 minutes um, Might put some barbecue sauce on them or whatever probably not just because I like the taste of the burger for what it is and if it don't really taste good, then that's where the barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, stuff like that to spice it up just so I can eat it or whatnot and waste, not waste my money. But anyway, stick with me. We're going to be out of the grill in a minute. Holla. What's up, YouTube? We back. Got these dogs on, uh, what I call them? Uh, rice, can, whatever, whatever. Anyway, we'll see what the final product look like in a little bit, but... I gotta come up with catching name that I can remember. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grill. Y'all see what they look like right now. So far, I'm not putting nothing in them. I'm gonna put the rice and cheese in there. All right, it's gonna be cooking in the stove uh, on the stove in a minute. And then once it's about done, probably use my ice cream scooper, scoop uh, some rice in there with the cheese mixed up, or use my hands or whatever. And then let it sit. Might even put the bacon on top. Might even use the bacon. I don't know why I brought it out, but anyway. I'm about to put these on, let them sit for about an hour because it's kind of hollow in here now, so I'm going to sit here and watch it. And we're going to let it do what it do. Get dark out here, y'all. Quick meal on a Wednesday. Pretty easy. Let, I, oh, one thing. I put them in the uh, freezer so they can firm them up before I just brought them out here. So just keep that in mind. All right, easy day. We'll be back uh, in about an hour and see what they look like. Oh, that's your boy. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B. Backyard Barbecue. And uh, show you this rice, right? Got some uh, Uncle Ben's rice. 90 seconds. I was going to cook some rice, but being lazy, I just found this in there. I also got some cheese. So I went ahead and started mixing this up. And what I'm going to do is put this actually in the uh, in the center of the uh the ground beef and then we're gonna go from there all right so i'll see y'all outside in a minute 
and stuff these jokers. Hold up. What's up, YouTube? Like I said, I got my rice and cheese already mixed up. About to stuff it in these uh, burgers. I just checked them. They seem pretty doggone good. It's 30. About that time to go ahead and put them on here. One thing I didn't... Man, I should have tied this up. One thing I didn't tell y'all, and I didn't realize this until I started cooking, is cheese already melting. Is one thing I failed to mention to y'all is these because it's like a cup when it starts to dry or, or when it starts to dry when it starts cooking obviously since this looks like a cup it's gonna have a, a, a the grease from the burger it has nowhere to go it doesn't drip down so it's gonna uh, really just sit inside so what I did was at the halfway point when I checked it I actually turned them upside down to uh to let the grease drip off of them they were already good and firm as you can see the, the uh firmness of them is still there hey man this rice and cheese i can eat this by itself shoot mash it on up in there put a little bit more on here yeah Let's see how that turn out. So I'm gonna let that sit. And we're gonna come back in a little bit. Maybe like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes and see what it looks like. Um, another another thing of note, when you're doing your rice and you put your cheese in there, um, mixing it together, I should have mixed it in, came directly out here. I let it sit for about three minutes. As you can see, the cheese is already starting to melt in here. So it makes it a little hard for me to actually stuff it in there. Unless I just did it with my hand and I don't really feel like that's sanitary. Um, just seems as though it's not just going to be me eating. If it was just me eating it, then I would just, whatever. You know how we do. But uh, because other people eating and uh, when they see you using your hands, they don't want to mess with it. So I'm not that type of person. So yeah, unless I have some gloves on or something. But anyway, that's another story for another day. We'll be back here shortly in about five to ten minutes and see what the final product is. All right, be back in a minute. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. B, from Backyard Barbecue. This should be done now, all right? I had it on there for about maybe 12 minutes because I was busy doing something else. That's one thing about barbecue. You can't let your mind dwindle off somewhere else, get caught up in conversation, or you mess up your product, man. So check it out further ado, check it out. All right, a little bit more charred than I wanted to because I left it on there for maybe seven more minutes than I wanted to. They still juicy. That's a good thing. And uh, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna let these cool down, slice them in half. Actually, I ain't gonna even do that. I'm just gonna let them cool down and then get to it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I still got juice running out of them. So I wouldn't eat these after about two days though, just cause they'll be dry sitting in the refrigerator. But they done, it's a final product. Rice and cheese, you can see the mixture is actually kind of perfect. I'll let you know when I actually bite into it and uh, see if it's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on this so I can uh, preserve some of my charcoal. Oh, another fun fact for you, right? Check this out before I go. Once you're done cooking, hold on. Show them, my, show them that charcoal. You see how it's lit? All right, close that top. All I got to do is show them these little holes right here. See these holes? If I close that, and I close my vent damper at the bottom. Close it all the way. This will smother itself and allow me to uh, reuse the charcoal at a later date. The benefit of that is I say charcoal. Um, I've done it plenty of times, especially on, on grills where you uh, get done cooking and you still got fire going. Close all your vents, let it smother itself out. And you can reuse the wood if you're using wood like I do on Big Bertha. Um, I use it to start up my fires or whatnot. Not really cooking, but just to start the fire and get a good bed of uh, coal going. So that's a fun fact for the day. Note it. Um, like I said, I got some t-shirts coming soon. Uh, a friend of mine, he was in Japan somewhere doing some things and whatnot. Now he's back. I'm going to get with him. So if you're looking, you know who you are. I'm going to get with you. Uh, so we can go and get these uh, t-shirts designed. May have a few other products coming. And uh, ironically, I got people asking me because they like the logo. I'm on the fence on the logo, 
Uh, but people liking the logo, they asked me how can they get different things made, like stickers and stuff like that. So just be on the hook for that. Later on, probably uh, sometime next year, I might go and adventure into that or uh, something like that. You never know, man. I'm just doing this for fun right now. I'm having fun with this. I like the barbecue. I like when you guys uh, uh, comment on it so we can just talk freely. That's what men do, especially when they're sitting on a barbecue, drinking on beers or whatever. Obviously, I ran out. But got some other things coming. And I'm going to give you one of them right now, right here. I'm going to start a... I'm going to try to do it weekly if I get enough input from you guys, the subscribers, right? Because it ain't just about me. We doing this to help each other. So what I'm going to do is... I got a couple people that have already sent me pictures of their new smokers or the smoker that they're using, right? So I want to do once a week where you send me your pictures and or you comment and I'll send you my email address if you don't see it on some of the other uh, comments. I send you my email address, you send me your pictures and I'll feature you in that week's video. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I don't know how many people actually want to send their pictures to me or whatnot. I don't know how many people uh, will respond, you know, are receptive like that. Sometimes I post videos and don't really get comments. You know, it's whatever because I'm doing it for fun. But if you send me your pictures, man, uh, like I got two people right now lined up. So um, Long Island Hobbies, I remember you because you're the first person to comment on my very first video. Thank you for that. Um, you actually you actually won the, uh, when I did my 100 subscriber, I actually sent you a product. Uh, once I get to 250, I'm going to do another one. So if y'all hadn't seen the video on what you have to do in order to be into that particular contest, Go back and watch some of my old videos. I ain't gonna give it to you for free now. Come on now. You gotta do a little work. I'm gonna send you something for free, but you gotta put in a little work in the process. Just make this fun, interesting. But anyway, so I'm gonna start a channel. I don't know, uh, not a channel. It's gonna be on, on, on this same channel, Backyard Barbecue. But I don't know the name of it yet. It's probably, I wanna do it weekly, like I said, if I get enough input from you guys, subscribers, because you are what, what makes me me. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Can't thank you more than enough. Um, and I just feature, put pictures on there and give you tips on what to do to maintain your grill, what I think about that grill if I've ever had one or seen a friend of mine that has one. Because I've been through any grill that you see at Home Depot or Lowe's, I've had. The reason why I upgraded to my big birthday, I can tell you what I paid for it, but a couple G's, I put it like that. A couple as a couples. But anyway, um, just stick with me. We're going to do this. And, uh, I'll holler at y'all later. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll let your boy, Mr. Beef and Backyard Barbecue.